I wish it were as simple as affirmations and positive words. If history had always been as delicious as the feeling of your tongue caressing the roof of your mouth when you said words like caramel, mocha, and chocolate to describe your skin tone, then this reintroduction would have been so much easier. Malcolm X asked the question, who taught you to hate yourself? And in reply, I asked Brother Malcolm, who didn't, who hasn't? Every step towards self-love as a black person is revolutionary. Every embrace of skin, every pleased inhalation, every welcome caress is defiance. Black love has always been self-taught. Black skin tastes like struggle, salty sweet, with a hint of hope on your palate, tempting you to return to indulging. Because nothing this sweet should be so painful to swallow. Now, double jeopardy is a term that is used to signify that one cannot be tried for the same crime twice. This means you only have one opportunity to bring together all of the evidence that you have to put a case as solid as possible to either get this person convicted or released. You do not have the free reign to keep punishing them over and over. It is a slap in the face of fairness. But to be black and woman is the physical manifestation of double jeopardy. It is wearing your crime in the swing of your hips and in the hue of your skin. It is being seen as too strong to need protection and weak enough to be taken advantage of. We write the lines of being too much and not enough every day. I fell in love with my hair because everything around me told me that I shouldn't. I dare not rock that fro or stay away from a comb or glorify my mane. I am in gratitude for the width of my hips and the strength of my thighs. I will not apologize for my size. Whenever the act of rebellion is preceded by the promise of love, count me in. Write my name down twice. I have attributed anything worth having to be accompanied by a plethora of reasons why I shouldn't have it. There is something gravity defying about a black man. Regardless of the rules that are in place to say otherwise, he refuses to stay down. His spirit has no anchor, and his wings, even at rest, will still hover. My black man, my black woman, you need to remember who you are. You are not the descendants of slaves. You are the great-grandchildren of inventors, doctors, and artists who were stolen. You are the bloodline of royalty lied about. You are ancestors returning without chains. Your skin is your asset. Remember who you are. Look at me. You, Osiris, god of agriculture, death, and resurrection. Look at me. Yes, you. Thoth, God of writing, wisdom, and inventor of languages. Lift your chest up, Sekhmet, goddess of medicine, healing, and destruction. Walk tall, Ma'at, goddess of harmony, justice, and truth. These are the beliefs that forged you. This is your historical foundation. Before they gave you Jesus, you had a moon -ra. Before you cut sugar cane and picked cotton, you built pyramids. Before you were sold and plundered and exploited, you invented medicine. And before you were told that you were subhuman man, you taught the world to read. This is who you are. This is what you are capable of. Eons ago, this is what you did. Imagine what you are capable of doing now. With that broad nose, imagine. With the woolly hair, 
imagine with the dark skin imagine with the centuries of pain and torture that is yours to transform just imagine you are not an apology you never were now act like